Hey, Diana. Hey, Vicky, what's up? How's it going? Not much. How are you? Good. Have you seen Connor lately? You know what? I was actually thinking the same thing. I feel like he's been MIA. Yeah, I think he's been on his computers for a little too long. You think that's what's happening? Yeah, I think he's been in there with the door closed for too long. You need to go give him a check. Let's go. Okay. Let's check it out. Connor, you all right? Hey guys, what's up? Not much. What's happening here with you, buddy? No, no, n nothing really. Not, not much going on. I just got to make sure that the uh, that the, the the seating chart for the cafeteria is all color coordinated. I mean, everyone's sitting where they're supposed to sit. I have a Google meeting going on right now about new Google features. I have a meeting with Tim on Google Meets. Also, hold on one second, Tim. I'll be right with you. And then I'm over here making sure that everything is is working okay um, in the building with the cameras um, to make sure that no one is is doing anything that they're not supposed to do. Um, you know, just a uh, another day at Birch Park Middle School, best middle school on the World Wide Web. Connor, have you ever thought of taking a little break from these screens? I mean, it's not so good for you, let alone anyone else, but it looks like you got a lot of screens going at once. Connor, didn't you know actually this much time in front of screens is actually overstimulating our minds? But don't we want to stimulate our minds to learn and grow? Yes, but this isn't good stimulation. You actually are overstimulating your mind and causing it to have problems with other things like sleep, mood, and even for getting basic social skills. What? Huh? What? I'm fine! What are you even talking about? Oh. No, oh, okay. You might have a point there. So, what do I do? Connor, when was the last time you took a screen break? Like, a real screen break. No TVs, no computers, completely. No screens. Maybe even for like an hour, it's really, really healthy for you to take a break from these things. Why don't you try it? Look, I know you're from Greenfield and all, but that's just strange. No screens daily? I've got so much to do. I mean, what am I supposed to do with no screens? I bet you the screen make will do you wonders, Connor help you relax, unwind, and become more productive. Unlike you mainstreaming the caffeine and constantly staring at those screens. Plus, your screens will thank you for the break. They can even need the rest, too. I don't know about this. What am I going to do without my Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Disney+, Plus, Fortnite, YouTube? I mean, it, it's not like the, the, the cafeteria is going to color cord itself. Trust, Trust us. us. Use, Use your, your imagination. imagination. All right, Greenfield, let's see how this is done.
feel energized and, re and recharged and ready to finish the day. Yeah! Um, there's a challenge out there too. It's called the Screen Break Challenge. You should try it. Every day is Screen Break. Complete three hours of no screens. Um, <clears throat> so that means no TV, no computer, no cell phone every day from April 17th to April 25th. And you'll be entered into a raffle drawing. We have six uh, gift certificates of $50 thanks to our PTO um, for $50 for Amazon. Everyone is going to get um, entered in for random drawings. Uh, Mr. Martin is going to send home the email that you can either enter the raffle by signing it and bring it back to guidance, or you can email me, Miss Molino, in uh, the office, and that way you can confirm you did it. And that way you can give your brain a break and give your screens a break. Have a great spring break, everybody. And you have a great spring break, Mrs. Milano. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I will definitely enter the competition. Woohoo! Happy spring break! Where's he going? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. He, he's going for it. He's really, he's out there. Don't get him, Mr. Martin. You stay off that screen, buddy.